in order to deal with how to deal with a pregnant patient coming for pregnant speaking. طبعا أول حاجة طبعا لما بقلنا أي عينة طبعا we have to take informations about the patients. What is your name and how old and what is the nationality and what is the social status that she is married or divorced or widow. If she has any pregnancy before we have to record the pregnancy outcomes and if she has a method of contraception we should record. What is the blood group and what is the RH typing? What is the job your job? And where do you live? Special habits as alcohol smoker, addicts, narcotics or non narcotics. She's smoking or not smoking? If she's smoking, how many cigarettes she's smoking per day? And how for how many years she's smoking? Fine. Usually you ask the patient about the complaints. Well, the pregnancy patient may come for anti care or for booking her pregnancy. So, for booking of the pregnancy, we have to record for what is the first day of the last menstrual period. And we should ask her about she is sure of the first day of the last menstrual date or not. And her menstrual cycle was regular or regular. And she was using any hormonal contraception during the last three months before the pregnancy or not. And then we have to calculate the expected date of delivery by adding 9 months and 7 days. And we should record the gestational age today. And the gestational age usually in normal calendars, uh, every month equal 4 weeks plus 2 days. And uh, 32 days equal 4 weeks plus three days so we can determine the decision age from the date of the today from the last menstrual date how the patient confirms that she is pregnant she only by delayed period of home pregnancy test or pregnancy test in urine or pregnancy test in blood or she did an ultrasound or she has an ultrasound of pregnancy test if she has did I have the sound? What is the result of the sound? And then we should ask the history of the current pregnancy. She has nausea. She has vomiting. That she has increased frequency of migration. She has tendency to sleep and tiredness. And she has any pest discomfort and heaviness. If the pregnancy duration is more than 16 weeks, we should ask when she feels for the first time the fetal movements and how many fetal movements she's perceiving today. In the Past obstetric history, we have to analyze each pregnancy. We have to analyze the date of the pregnancy and how she knows that she was pregnant. And, uh, and she has any medical disease was associated with the pregnancy or not. And she has uh, nausea or vomiting. She has bleeding in early pregnancy. She has vaginal discharge. She has infections. She has hypertension or preeclampsia.
Power clamps here. She has developed gestational diabetes. She has bleeding after 24 weeks. She has preterm rupture of membrane or premature rupture of membrane. And how, what is the end of the pregnancy at what gestational age? And so the pregnancy ends is on abortions or delivery. Case of pregnancy ends early, maybe abortions or ectopic pregnancy or molar pregnancy. Case of abortions, how is the sequence? She has bleeding, being followed by expulsion, an embryonic sac, and evacuation cartage of living fetus supporting bleeding, abdominal pain, followed by expulsion of product of conception, or bleeding followed by abdominal pain and expulsion on second breast, mist of fetus and placenta, expulsion of second breast, and mist associated with abdominal pain and rupture of membrane, expulsion of living fetus and placenta. Or bleeding and abdominal brain second trimester followed by expulsion of dead fetus and placenta or bleeding and expulsion of product of conception first trimester. Uh, case of ectopic pregnancy, she has uh, salvingostomy and blood transfusion, salvingostomy or salvingostomy, making uh, milking product of conception for the fallopian tube, or the paduing lapotomy or laparoscopy. Medical treatment by mesotoxate, uh, medical treatment failed and so followed by laboratory for salpigecto. In cases of the pregnancy ends on delivery, spontaneous delivery or unused delivery of planned cesarean sections or urgent cesarean section, and the method of delivery was spontaneous vaginal delivery, force of and tools, spontaneous vaginal delivery, and the emergency cesarean section, elective cesarean section, non section tubal ligation, and postpartum maternal hemorrhage. She has a tonic postpartum hemorrhage controlled by drugs, drug part expiration of genital tracts, and Drugs are traumatic cervical vaginal tears of bird, rupture uterus of bird, rupture uterus treated by supervaginal hysterectomy, consumptive coagulopathy managed by first person fusion for plasma or cryoprecipitate or nova 7, consumptive coagulopathy treated by plasma nova 7 and supervaginal hysterectomy. And the patients develop fever. This fever is due to purple sepsis or post engorgement or post abscess of wound infection, peritonitis, levina thrombosis, or other cause of fever. The newborn is uh, method stillbirth or first stillbirth or living, and newborn was congenital fetal anomaly. What is the weight of this baby? And what is the sex of this baby? Male or female on bigger genitalia. And uh, what about the neonatal complications? He has neonatal asphyxia, neonatal aspirated stress syndrome, neonatal jaundice, neonatal death, birth injuries. Admission of the newborn to neonatal care units for foot supply for jaundice, or exchange plant transfusion for jaundice, oxygen supply by nasal tube, oxygen supply by intracranial intubation, oxygen supply by intracranial intubation and artificial ventilation. This is how to take uh, obstetrics. First feeling the patient has fed her baby, or uh, she uh, has no breast feeding and official feeding only or no milk coming and she has official feeding. This is how we are going to report uh, table the past obstetric history, uh, first pregnancy, when it occurs, in which year, and then the pregnancy durations, and then the problem occurred about it during pregnancy. And how the pregnancy ends, and how the method of the pregnancy ends by delivery, what is the method of delivery, and what about the newborn, male or female, how many kilo living or dead, and then the postpartum complications, 
and new little complications and the first feeding if the infant or childhood has problem we have to record this problem was a death or mental retardation. A scale of the activity of the patient was the activity the patient can do. She has no destiny except on strenuous exercise, or she has thought of person walking up short hill, or destiny limits walking pace, or stops to catch press, or destiny prevents leaving house and perform any activity. On past medical history, she has Juvenile diabetes, adult onset diabetes, hypertension, congenital heart disease, rheumatic heart disease, renal disease, hepatitis, anemia, and fever. Our past surgical history. We have to also ask about family history of diabetes or hypertension. And then the maternal history of multiple pregnancy, congenital anomalies, or mental retardation. And then we are going to examine the patient. We assess the general condition of the patient. Usually the majority of our patients are normal. Desire to be desnic or collapse or drowsy. And then we have to record the patient's weight and we have to record the patient's pressure and we have to record the pulse of the patient. And we have to record the blood pressure of the patient. And we have to record the respiratory rate. And we have to record that the patient is pale or not. The patient is jaundiced or not. The patient is cyanosed or not. Really, we have, have our patient is cyanosed. And then we look for the neck for the side. For the neck veins. For the cervical lymph nodes, then we look for the breast. We look for the heart, and we look for the lung. Then we look for the legs, the edema, or the varicose veins. Oh, the venous thrombosis is one of the problems you may have during pregnancy or postpartum period. Then we do for abdominal examination, abdominal enlargement, is this linear nigra or not, triad of diam, surgical scars, what is the surgical scars available, and there the is abdominal wall edema or not. And if we observe the, the uterus is large and seen by abdomen, we may feel, see the fetal movement, or we ask the patient to cough in order to show her office. And then we start to palpate the abdomen for any masses or for any tenderness. Uh, for, for the uterus, the, the uterine contraction, pelvis, or painful arms, um, then we may feel the fetal movements. And then we are going to record the fundal height. Usually, the uterus is not felt by abdomen except after 12 weeks, and it's felt before by, by manual examinations. Otherwise, if the uterus is felt by abdomen, we have to determine the fundal height. And it is very important to determine the relation of the fundal height to the uterine size. Uterine size equal to gestation age. Uterine size is more than gestation age, or the uterine size is less than gestation age. 
Then we have two of the uteruses felt. We can to record the fetal heart sounds. After 24 weeks, we have to record the fundal height, and we have to tell the relation of the fundal height to the gestation age due to size equal gestation age, or due to size is more than gestation age, or due to size less than gestation age. Then we are going to do obstetric grip, the fundal grip, assure the fundal level and check the fetal pole. If the fetal pole is smooth and hard, palatable fetal head, or limited palatable fetal head and crank breach, or soft, large bulk, not palatable, or empty uterus in case of transverse line. When then we have to do the umbilical or the lateral grip to determine who is the back of the fetus or the number of the fetus and also in case of transverse lie who is the who is the buttocks and who is the fetal head. And first pelvic grip to determine the fetal presentation and if it is free mobile it is still floating or not and so it is hard, smooth palatable head or smooth hard palatable limited palatable of the head or soft bulky and palatable and soft bulky fixed to fetal buttocks and empty as in case transverse line and then we have to auscultate the fetal. Heart sound. Usually we don't do vaginal examination for pregnant lady except in certain conditions and so we thank the patients.